Hi everybody, this is me Hitman for President and welcome to my channel. In one of my previous videos, I showed you guys that I am using the uh, Petrona Sprinter Racing Engine Oil and I promise you that there will be a feedback about it. I'm going to give you a review, so you see how I feel. The best thing about it, instead of any other places, I brought this bike to Sepang International Circuit and really give it a whack. It was a, it was a two hour track session. Uh, so I think it's it's enough to give me feedback about this uh, engine oil What I feel about this engine oil is super positive It's just as good as my previous uh, Moto 300V experience and also the US um, Supreme engine oil that I got it was being sponsored to me. I love this engine oil But it's just as good as the Petronas Sprinter. The price difference is massive This engine oil costs about 99 ringgit per bottle this one is only 76 ringgit, but it's just as good as this one. So if you want to buy, I include the link in the description and you can just go ahead and check it out. Oh. Okay, I'm done with the oil change. The thing that I want to talk to you about is the uh, something new. It's the new bike that I'm getting for myself. Yes, uh, in 2024, I'm getting myself a bigger one. For those of you who have followed me before, you guys know that I own a Suzuki SG650 before and I sold it about a few months back. Uh, so currently this is the only one I have right now that I'm using for uh, leisure, weekend, track, whatever you want to call it. But I don't use this as a daily one. It's a super sport bike, but I'm not going to reveal it yet. Hopefully it's going to be a done deal within a couple of days. So by then, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to make a reveal to you guys. For now, I can share with you guys is the uh, things that gonna, that's going to come with the bike. So I'm going to split the specs on this side and let's see if you guys are going to agree with me that it's actually a very good deal. Okay, first it says engine standard tiada masalah, Woolwich tune. Which is a good thing. Uh, so far, the owner claimed that the engine doesn't have any knocking sound, uh, there's no leaking. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for and every time I want to buy a used bike uh, But Woolwich Tune mm, From my experience when I was riding the 250 back then I had it uh, I had the ECU uh, Woolwich flashed uh, It wasn't really a good experience that I had but back then I wasn't really sure what I was doing with it All I know I wanted to have a Woolwich flash uh, With some minor engine modification which I shouldn't have done But with this new bike, I'm not gonna touch the engine. I'm just gonna fully maintain it so the next one is the exhaust slip on revoke installed by march 2023 it costs about 1.8 thousand ringgit from what i know revoke exhaust is located in puchong and they are one of the local exhaust manufacturer in malaysia this would be my first experience in using the revoke exhaust uh, what do i feel about it i don't know <laughs> uh, hopefully it's going to turn out to be good uh, RCS19 Brembo brake pump, RCS19 service kit, Brembo SA brake pad. For those of you who have followed me long before, you guys probably know that I really ride a very very super fast bike. So you guys know that I emphasize heavily on the braking, especially when you are in, in, in a Sepang and when you are being outgunned by a faster bike. So the thing that you can rely on most is your braking. So I emphasize on it on every one of my bike. I upgrade uh, the braking parts in any way I can so for the bike to come with a fully serviced um, and then some upgraded uh, brake pad I think this is going to be a very good deal because I don't have to think about it too much all I have to do is just to keep it maintained all right the next one this is by far the thing that I'm, I'm most stoked about uh, it's the HMQ uh, quick shifter installed by March 2023 well, if you have been following me from the beginning, I am a big supporter of the bikes that's using quick shifter. I love it. I think everyone needs to have an experience riding a bike with a quick shifter. If you haven't, you're missing out. Uh, it doesn't help you a lot, but if you're riding with a quick shifter, especially if you're doing a track ride, at least there's one aspect of the riding that you don't need to think about. You don't need to think about the clutching so much, and it takes a bit of the uh, work that you need to do when you're riding. It would be great if the bike comes with an auto bleeper, but it doesn't. So it's just going to be as similar as this one. Uh, it's just the upshift, but when downshift, I still need to use the clutch. 
I don't know how much it costs, but I reckon it's somewhere around uh, 1,000 to 1,500 ringgit. Hopefully I'm right. But the quick shifting, it's great. Um, and then the new original stator coil, new original rectifier, new plugs, engine oil, oil filter, coolant, brake bleeding, uh, changed by November 2023, uh, valve clearance done at 67,000 and current mileage is 67,200. The maintenance has been done about 3-4 months ago so yeah, really when I got this bike I don't really need to think about it too much, just ride it for a couple of months and then get it serviced. And I've checked the bike out and the information that I got from here it's tally with what I've seen on the bike. Uh, suspension set down for 75 kilogram. This is something I may need to look into because I'm not 75 kilogram. I'm about 87, so probably the previous owner is about that weight. So I don't know how. I'm just gonna have to ride it for a couple of weeks, just get a feel of it. If I don't like it, maybe I need to bring it to a uh, suspension tuner to get it tuned up based on my weight. And then the tire is a Super Corsa one front and rear. This is the best part about it. I got the spare set of tires, which is the Rosso Corsa 4 front and rear. I wasn't really sure about buying this bike at first place, but when I uh, read the things that I'm gonna get and then the spare set of tires, if you must know, the Rosso Corsa 4 will cost you at least 1,000 to 1,400 ringgit. So it's a steal. And then the additional 2023 fairing design. Oh yeah, it's a 2011 edition. What bike? You don't know. You don't know yet. And then uh, TID 520 chain, uh, changed by November 2023. JT race lights sprocket, can and air filter, MRA windshield, LED winglet, side mirror, da 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 da. And all the original parts will be provided. So. I can share with you what the price is. The price I'm buying this bike is at 32,000 ringgit and it's a 2011 edition. Uh, do you feel that it's worth it with what I'm getting? I feel that it is. What I plan with this bike is that in 2025, I want to get into a couple of races. If you must know, there are two uh, superbike races in Malaysia. First is the MSBK Malaysia Superbike uh, Championship which I don't think I'm going to join that one. That one, the competition is much stiffer, but there is another one which, which is called Malaysia Speed Fast. Uh, that one is I'm most excited about. So usually the, the race will start around May. So around August or September this year, I'm going to start to join in track days with, and we'll see how it feels from there. But my goal is in 2025, I'm going to race it. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. And I'll see you guys in the next one with the new bike. Goodbye.